Wow. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's another great September Saturday. Remember, this is the 18th annual, Lena. And this is what's awesome about this. We're virtually doing this. You're somewhere in a sunroom where the sun is just kind of running you down. And, and, I, and I kind of get, here I am at home. And I guess it's one of those like, okay. But, but you know, Lena, what I had to do, though, I, I mean, I noticed that you look great today. And this is going to be a great September Saturday. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. So I, I thought I thought I'll add just bear with me because I need to kind of get in the get in the whole setup for September Saturday. So let me put on my, okay my hat. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> okay, put on my shade because the sun is bright. Because I know you got the sun all bright on your end. So mm -hmm. let, me, let me again welcome you to the special edition, the virtual edition of the 2020 September Saturdays Festival, where we're normally be doing this out there at the courthouse, but hey, we're doing it virtually, and I think this is gonna be an awesome day today, and you guys are gonna love this. I'm District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us again for another evening of celebration. September Saturdays is the largest, I mean, it's huge, this huge <laughs> festival, and it's about community. This particular September Saturday is about community. We would normally be doing this celebration on the grounds of the Douglas County Courthouse with a giant flag waving behind us and, and all the backdrops and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, that's what normally would be happening. Right. right. But this year, due to COVID-19, we're switching it up with a virtual celebration just for you. This event has always been about community and that is not going to change. COVID-19 can't stop this show so let's get it going. remarkable, Kwame. Now, I'll just say this. Let's take a couple of moments and hear some great messaging from one of our District 3 commissioner. Mm -hmm. I, I call her Terenia, but you know her as Commissioner Terenia Carson. Hello, District 3 citizens and the residents of Douglas County. I'm Terenia Carson, your District 3 commissioner, and I just wanted to say welcome to this September Saturday. We are delighted to show our support for our first responders, to our healthcare workers, our armed forces, and the entire community of Douglas County. The unity and the support that we have received during this COVID-19 is so desperately needed. But we just didn't want to stop the celebration. We wanted to celebrate all of those who continue to tirelessly uphold this community. So to our elected officials and our citizens and all of our healthcare workers, first responders, armed forces, thank you. We salute you. Community is a unified body of individuals. It is both about feeling, it's about a set of relationships uh, among people who share a sense of trust, belonging, safety, 
and caring for each other. In a lot of ways, the strength of community is based on its government and its educators and education. Yes, I totally agree. And the 2017 Georgia Teacher of the Year definitely knows the importance of both community and education. Here are a few inspiring words from Mr. Casey Bethel. So my name is Casey Bethel. I live, work, worship, play, and raise my kids here in Douglas County. And there's not a better place on this planet to do all those things. I appreciate the place that I live. I appreciate September Saturdays. I love and appreciate all of you. And I just came today to share a couple of points with you that I hope will, will help to frame uh, your thoughts and your uh, emotions during this time. 2020, the whole year of it so far has been challenging. Everything's been different. It's been a real roller coaster ride, ups and downs, lots of it downs, lots of changes. It can feel like jumping out of one pot into another all the time. COVID-19 has been a real stress on all of us and it's changed the way we do so many things. But what is important is focusing on the things that are still the same. No matter how much is changing around us, there's some things that we can focus on that are still the same today and that will still always be the same forever. Number one is that relationships still matter. Relationships are still paramount. Relationships are still incredibly important. I am excited, I am proud that it's through relationships that we've made it this far and it's through relationships that we're gonna continue to press forward through whatever is left. I love the relationship from household to household. My neighbors next door, even when it was hard to come outside, when it was hard to have kids play together, we've been supporting one another. And I know that neighborhoods all around Douglas County have been doing the same or the relationships between working groups, the relationship between our county government, the relationship uh, between county government and our school system and our police department and our health department. Everybody has come together to pitch in, to throw their hands on the plow and do the work together. Relationships still matter. Relationships are still important. So I encourage you today to look out for ways to branch out and build even more new relationships. Who else is out there that you can meet in a time when the world wants us to be further away from one another, when the world wants us to be socially distant, we can create opportunities to be still close to one another. Who else can you meet? Who else can you talk to? Who else can you get to know? Who else can you help? Who else can you support? Who else can you show love to on a day-to-day -day basis? Because that's what will keep our hearts full. That's what will keep us happy in the midst of these trying times. Relationships still matter. The second thing is that if we're going to press through and if we're going to make it through whatever is left, and especially if we're going to do so with a smile on our faces, we're going to have to continue to be resilient. I'm proud of Douglas County in the way that we've been resilient. We've made it through a number of things before, and I know that we're going to make it through this because we are resilient. We're the type of people who know how to get up when we've been knocked down. We're the type of people who know how to not give up. We're the type of people who in the face of great challenges know how to keep working until we find the solutions. We've gotta be determined, continue to be determined, both personally and collectively. We've got to be resilient. Resilience still matters. So whatever it is you're facing out there, certainly all of us are facing something, might be similar, might be different, whatever it is you're facing. I want you to think about how you can continue to work, how you can continue to push, how you can continue to uplift until you overcome. We are overcomers in Douglas County and it's because we are resilient. Resilience still matters. Number three, right now is the perfect opportunity for us to reimagine everything. The beauty of COVID-19 is that it threw everything into flux. The way we've done everything has changed. Things that we used to be able to do, we can't do anymore. And we have to reinvent new ways to do things. My grandfather used to always tell me that necessity is the father of invention. Well, I'm excited. It's a really innovative time. Lots of things are changing, but we're changing for the better as long as we keep the right outlook, as long as we keep the right perspective. This is our chance to reimagine everything. When school opened back in August, lots of kids started school at home doing virtual learning, and certainly that was different. But we had teachers, hundreds, 
thousands of them working tirelessly in their classrooms, trying to think about a better way to deliver that virtual instruction. And even the way restaurants have responded to this time, we've had restaurants who've had to close their doors to dine-in patrons, but they've changed the way they do things to become more effective, more efficient. They're just as welcoming when they deliver my uh, drive up order as they used to be when I came inside. I love that about Douglas County. I can still feel their love. Everyone from the grocery stores to our police department, everyone's changing the way they do things, reimagining and becoming better. And as we bring forward the lessons that we learned through this time, our entire community, whenever this is all over and we go back to life as normal, life as normal will be better. Even Super Saturday, we've had to do it differently this year, but I look forward to what it will be like when things get back to normal. So we bring forward these lessons. I'm excited about all of the innovation and the changes that are gonna come from this time that we're going through. Number four, and I wanna lean in really close and say this to the young people of our community, right now is the time for you to reach high. Just because we're going through challenging time, it's not the time for you to let your effort down. It's not the time for you to set low goals. This is still the right time for you to set extremely high goals and push yourself to reach those things. It is the time to reach high. If we look through the history of the United States, some of our greatest inventors, some of our greatest contributors, some of our greatest history makers happened during times of challenge in our nation. Well, the same is happening and can happen right here in Douglas County. You've got to keep working. You've got to keep studying. You've got to keep practicing. You've got to keep pressing. You've got to keep praying. Find that thing that you were created to do and work until you become the absolute best at doing it because our community needs you. We need you to step up during this time. It is the time to reach high. Set high goals and press until you reach them. We're here to support you. We're here to love on you. We're here to gird you. We're here to provide you with all that you need. But you've got to step up to the plate. And then the final one is that righteousness will prevail. Righteousness will prevail. And by righteousness, I just mean that all of us during this time have to focus on what is good. Focus on the joy that we still have. Instead of focusing on the things that we've lost, think about the incredible opportunities and the new realizations that we've gained. I've become closer with the folks I live next door to. I've become closer with the folks that I work with. I've learned how to reprioritize the things that I have and the things that I don't have. I've learned how to appreciate more the things that I can get. Focus on the joy that we still have. Focus on things like kindness. Focus on things like support. Focus on things like mutual dignity for everybody in our community. Focus on the things that are good because righteousness will still prevail. Surely we're going through things that are different. We're going through things that are challenging, but we are doing an excellent job, Douglas County, in the way that we're pressing through it. And I can't wait to see what life will be like when we're finally through I already love Douglas County. I'm going to love it even more as it continues to become better. I want to say thank you to our county government. Thank you to all those who have invested in this Super Saturday celebration. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Mr. Casey Bethel. Now introducing our first musical performance. Why don't you just check this out?
The Board of Commissioners wanted to take a moment to connect with the citizens of Douglas County by sharing a few remarks with you. Hello, I'm Ann Jones Guider, your uh, District 4 Commissioner, and I'm coming from the western side of the county. Although I like te technology about as much as the next fella, I really miss the human contact uh, that we've lost because of the COVID-19 virus. Hopefully we will be getting back to normal soon. And I know many prayers are being lifted up for a vaccine that will ward off this terrible pandemic. District four is somewhat different than the other three districts. Uh, being the, uh, the largest district in the county, District four not only encompasses Arbor Place Mall, but also stretches all the way west to the city of Villarica, Georgia, in particular, the Mirror Lake Golf Community. Although this uh, golf club requires membership, Mirror Lake houses two of the most beautiful 18 hole courses you can find. I know this because I've had the pleasure and opportunity to play out there many times. <clears throat> District four begins at the northern county line butting up against Paulden County and extends to the southernmost border of the county where it meets Carroll County and that is in the Fair Play area. And although we have part of two cities incorporated in District 4 with many subdivisions and apartment complexes, the majority of District 4 is full of beautiful rolling pastures and open fields it being more rural than uh, the other county, uh, district in the county. And most of the homes actually are attached to several acres. It also is the home of the unique Dog River Library with uh, that in the woods decor and which is surrounded by walking trails and a disc golf course. One of the most visited area in Douglas in uh, District 4 is the beautiful Clinton Park, a passive park of over 200 acres featuring mountain bike trails, a walking track, miles of hiking trails, a playground area, um, picnic tables, a dog park, and there are also some old historical homesteads on, uh, within the compounds of the park and there are campgrounds for the nonprofit organizations. In fact, many of our schools hold their cross country track meets at Clinton Park, as does Sorba, the Southern Off-Road Bicycle Association. They hold many of their bike events there too. So if you are the outdoor enthusiast, you should plan to visit Clinton Park off of Ephesus Church Road because there's something out there for everyone. The southern part of District 4 is also the home of a farm belonging to the famous ice cream company, King of Pops. And it is also the future home of a unique wellness preserve to be built in the next few years on 1,000 acres. This facility will be visited by people from all around the globe and it will prove to be green and clean as the developers are very dedicated in protecting the environment and the water supply. Many of the residents in District 4 refer to it as God's country, and we all want to preserve it in that manner. We certainly welcome you to visit, but remind you to please respect it and don't leave yeah, uh, any dirty footprints such as your trash or your cigarette butts. Many new homes are being built out in our area and it could be your future home one day. So stay safe and thank you and God bless. Greetings Douglas County. My name is Kelly Robinson. I am the vice chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners representing District 2. I want to welcome you to this year's September Saturdays 2020 a virtual experience. Um, during this pandemic time, we recognize that we must continue to live on. We must move forward. 
but we must do so in a very safe manner. But in doing so in the blanket of that safety, we must all recognize those who are out there ahead of us. I wanna, want you to join me in thanking the first responders, the healthcare workers, the armed forces, and the educators that are showing the way for us, that are preparing the way for us to continue to live our lives as we best we can. So again, I want all of you to join me with this September Saturdays, 2020, a virtual experience. Uh, and again, have fun, join with your friends and with your family, and let's make it a great one. Thank you and have a good one. Hello. I'm Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, and I'm the chairwoman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. And I am so delighted that you have joined us for this virtual September Saturday. I, just like everyone else, wish we were in the moment in time when COVID-19 didn't exist, but this too shall pass and we will move past this. But I would like to say uh, a special thanks to our first responders and to our law enforcement and to our community performances from our school choirs, starting from the elementary all the way to high school, we appreciate you. And also would like to recognize our veterans and our teachers for their a major contribution in uh, Douglas County. September Saturdays means so much to me. It's a fall time. That's one of my favorite times of the year. I love the fall. It's, I like to see the leaves uh, just trickling off the trees. I like the cool weather, but for some reason, last, the last couple of, couple of September Saturdays has been extremely warm, but that's okay. September Saturdays means so much to me. I have an opportunity to walk through uh, just the, the parking lot of the courthouse and shake hands and talk one-on-one -on -one with all our citizens. And you tell me about all the great things that are happening in your individual lives and also some concerns you may have that the, myself and the Board of Commissioners could address. And I appreciate you all for that. I enjoy, and also I just would be remiss if I say I, I, I miss all the vendors out there with all the fun food, the funnel cakes and the Chick-fil-A and all the different types of foods that I probably don't need, but I really, really miss and enjoy September Saturdays. But guess what? This is a fun September Saturdays. We will celebrate in the 21st century uh, virtually. Uh, it is the 150th uh, birthday celebration of Douglas County, and we are celebrating September Saturdays uh, virtually, but I just want you all to know that, again, congratulations uh, and thank you for allowing the Board of Commissioners to host another September Saturdays here in Douglas County. Thank you. Most people may not know that Douglas County communities and schools are a huge part of this annual event. To talk more about their involvement, I had a conversation with the Executive Director, Mitzi Teal. You are no stranger to September Saturdays. In fact, you're extremely involved in the event. What has been your role in September Saturdays in the past? Well, um, Communities and Schools of Douglas County, which is the nonprofit that I oversee for the school system, you know, the foundation of everything we do revolves around children and youth. Mm -hmm. And so the festival has um, determined that, or the county has determined that our organization and the school system will benefit from the event. And what that means is that we work in partnership to make the event happen. Mm -hmm. And so for the last several years, uh, we're part of the planning process. We are part of the organizing. Our role as the benefiting charity is that we each take a, a component. So we're responsible for all the volunteers. Um, we are responsible for uh, the craft vendors, the art vendors, the business vendors that come into the vendor area. Um, we work with um, different groups from schools to come and help man the inflatable areas um, from everything from the train to the carnival ride and even with the shuttles, just coordinating the volunteers who are driving the shuttles, making sure they've done what they needed to do on the front end to be ready to drive day of, um, helping with marketing, helping with communication and getting the word out, and then two, helping to um, promote it within the school system to our chorus groups uh, and facilitate when necessary, because um, we recognize our uh, Teachers of the Year's heroes. Mm -hmm. And so helping to facilitate um, the planning that goes into that. And then the overall planning, working with, with you guys um, at the county and the event team 
to really look at what we did last year to how we can make it better next year. And, um, and so it's just been a very uh, amazing experience over the last several years. And it really, at the end of the day, benefits our students because the money we raise goes back into the classrooms. Exactly. So. Right. So in other words, you do a lot <laughs> with the event. <laughs> yeah. so, well, so what does September Saturdays mean to you? You know, September Saturdays to me is an opportunity for us as a community to have an event for families that it's not going to cost them that much. Um, most, of, most of the time, I'm a mother of four, and um, anytime you go somewhere, we call ourselves, you know, the party of six. <laughs> um, and so anytime we go somewhere, there's always a cost associated. And so for a lot of our families, they are looking for something that they can do as a family unit mm -hmm. and, and just have a, a fun, enjoyable experience. Um, to me, September Saturdays is also about opening up the courthouse and allowing the community to see the courthouse in a different light. Um, you know, we come there to pay our taxes or some people come there for court or they come there for other, other matters. And um, so to come to the courthouse to participate and watch the musical groups perform and enjoy the food vendors that we have or um, see the local artists. Um, September Saturdays is also a time for our local businesses. You know, it's important in our community that we support local and that we buy local. Mm -hmm. And having vendors and businesses participate, whether as a sponsor or as a paid vendor, um, they can showcase their business or their product. They could sell their business um, materials or their product. Uh, and it just helps them, you know, further their business in our community. And then we're in turn supporting them by having them at our festival. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's really more than just a festival. Exactly. Yeah, and also, you know, our high school and um, middle school students come and volunteer. So it's an opportunity for our students to give back and help. Um, it's also a time for our volunteers who mentor. They also come and help volunteer. So some of them are driving the shuttle. Some of those are helping with vendor setup. So it gives people a chance to give back as well. So it's not just us receiving as um, the benefit or, you know, the charity that's benefiting, but it's also an opportunity for us to give back and give and be the servant leaders that we try, we strive to be. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Do you have a favorite aspect of the event? Let me think. I think the, the thing that um, is, it's a lot of work, but the day of the first, mm -hmm. we, we kick the event off for the first time and the vendors are set up and the inflatables are going and you mm -hmm. can hear the train horn blaring. Um, <laughs> And the, the start of the event, it just knows that, you know, we've, we've made it and it's just a great feeling. Yeah. Um, you know, the fact that uh, you can see children walking by with balloons um, in the inflatable area that's free, you know, they've had fun and the smiles that you see on the family's faces um, is pretty amazing. Um, you know, being able to communicate with them and welcome them and, and greet them you know, kind of lets you get to know other people as well. And so that, you know, it's about being part of the community and um, that's what makes it special. Yes, definitely makes it worth it in the end, doesn't it? It does. It really does. Well, Mitzi, thank you for allowing me to interview you for a virtual celebration. Uh, thank you for everything that you do for our community and for our school system. Well, thank you. Well, on behalf of Communities and Schools of Douglas County and the Douglas County School System, we thank the Board of Commissioners and your department uh, for all that you do to put this festival on. You're getting the sponsorships to help make this where it doesn't cost our taxpayers um, anything for this event. And so we really appreciate all that y'all do to make it happen. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Now, Lena, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> let me get this, my vocal cords together. <laughs> uh, unlike you, I can sing, believe it or not. Okay. I'm not going to sing right now, though, but <laughs> through that, instead, 
let's lean on and, and let's take a, a, a nice uh, uh, listen to uh, another great musical performance on this 18th annual September Saturday. Wow, what a performance from everyone. Now, Lena, I know you can sing and I, I've heard you. I know you kind of do your, your 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 modeling and all that kind of good stuff. So you sure you don't want to kind of perform on this 2020 September Saturday's uh, second Saturday event. Now, it's on no, you. No, 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 not tonight. You'll have to wait till the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. Well, we have about two more shows to go. Yeah, two more yes. shows, and then we're gonna wrap up September Saturdays right here at Douglas County and all the citizens. We wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. Tune in next Saturday, that'll be September 19th, 7 p.m., and we'll be right here on DC 23. Yeah, and, and, and it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna focus in on healthcare workers, correct? That's correct. correct. Yeah, so I'm Commissioner Henry Mitchell of District 1. I just wanted to say again, thank you guys. See, COVID-19 thought they could stop us, but I felt confident that we needed to continue September Saturdays, and this is the virtual tour of September Saturdays. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Last Saturday was great. This Saturday was even better, but we've got more to come. Focusing on healthcare, healthcare workers. Check it out. We'll be here next Saturday. That'll be September 19th, 7 p.m. I'm Commissioner Mitchell of District 1. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. All right. Hi, I'm Anita Granger from the DUI Drug Court, and I love September Saturdays. We're human resources, and we love September Saturdays. We are the staff at Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, and we love September Saturdays. I'm Sherry Mathis with the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, and I love September Saturdays. Oh, hey, I'm County Librarian Lindy Moore, and I love September Saturdays. Hi, I'm Laura Eubanks from the Douglas County Public Library, and I love September Saturdays. This is Mark Teal, County Administrator, and I love September Saturdays. I'm Madeline, and I love September Saturdays. Hi, I'm Winnie the Pooh, and I'm the Cat in the Hat. 
and we're from the Dog River Public Library, and we love September Saturdays! Hi, we're from the Records Department, and we love September Saturdays. I'm Tammy Howard, and we are the clerk of Superior State Court I'm Melanie Stinson, switchboard operator and communications assistant for Douglas County, and this is my daughter, Cora. And we love September Saturdays. Bye!